Hi everyone and good morning. In today's video, I want to show you a really interesting design alternative, gradient charts in Power BI. We will explore how to build them, their limitations, how to combine them with PowerPoint and Power BI to achieve a smooth and professional look. Let's go. For this example, we are gonna use the Spotify chart dashboard and apply the gradient effect of the most streamed charts. Find so Spotify, palettes, lens hours, uh, green and black, we replicate that tone to create a dynamic background. The first step and most important is to prepare the charts background in PowerPoint. We insert a shape, we edit the colors, and we choose the radiant ground fill. Personally, I prefer going from lighter to darker one, using the black at the edge and the white or light green in the center. It's very important to use the background color of our dashboard at the edge of this image to create the perfect visual effect. Then we save the file as SVG image, since it's the best format to import image into Power BI. Now, in Power BI, we use state area chart and create three measures. The first one is strings total, that is the base value, is the base. The dummy streams, that is the streams total, multiplied by 004. That's gonna define the line thickness. And max EY. In here, the max streams value per period multiplied by 1.5. With this, we will have a lower line that is stream total, it's gonna be transparent. The middle line is the dummy streams visible with gradient color, and a top line that is max EY that is gonna be transparent. This layering gives us a smooth color transition. You're gonna see everything right now. Now, to set up everything, you're gonna go to in the EY axis, you put as a minimum value zero and as a maximum value the max EY measure. Under area shading, you're gonna set the max EY background in the black, the same one as is in the background. The stream total is the same color with about 20% transparency. It's gonna be okay with that. And the dummy streams not displayed, it's out of a visible line only. So we go down to the plot area background and set up and add the SVG image that we create on PowerPoint. You can try to peel or fit to see which one look better in your layout and it's gonna be, look great with the gradient color. And this is how you build a custom gradient chart in Power BI using PowerPoint and a few dark tricks. This is how it looks with different color options. I hope you find this video useful and let me know in the comment which topics you like to see on next video. See you, bye bye.